Hello, my name is Phil Morris and I'm the Time and Time Photographer. I've been asked about how I retouch photos. Uh, this is not in associated with any uh, particular tip on my photography tip of the week, so I'm just adding this to my blog at timeandtime.com. This is part two of the basic steps I use to retouch a face. Uh, part one is all the work that I did in Lightroom, where this was the original and the adjustments I the basic adjustments I did in Lightroom to get to this and um, so part two is the adjustments that I do in Photoshop and these aren't advanced adjustments these are just enhancements to the photo uh, since I've made a virtual copy of this um, I will be doing what is considered destructive uh, editing where I'll be making layers and merging them uh, I can quickly get back to any state in this uh, since I already have my virtual copy of the basic adjustments. So first thing we want to do is the eyes and teeth and what I need to do is I need to duplicate this layer so I'm going to do command J or uh, control J on the PC to create a layer here and we want to brighten the teeth so we'll set the mode to screen now I don't want to have to black out everything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do hold down my option key or my alt key and click on add layer mask so it will give me a nice black layer mask there and now we want to zoom in to a hundred percent and get a nice soft white brush and we will uh, paint in the eyes now don't worry that this looks really really bright we're going to uh, be adjusting this and the uh, adjusting the opacity when we're done so we just want to get a good painting on this and uh, I don't want to paint the hair here just just the eyes and I'm using the bracket key um, the open and close bracket key to make my brush bigger and smaller. I'm holding down the space bar to move the image around. Um, I also want to paint in the teeth nice and bright. Smaller brush and now let's zoom back out and she looks uh, pretty bright, very unnatural. So we're going to grab the opacity scrubber here and we'll bring this down to somewhere between 35 and 40 percent. So there's the enhanced, there's unenhanced, just a little bit to brighten up the eyes. And now I will do a merge down. Now the next thing I want to do is soften the skin and I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. Let's make an extra layer here and the first thing I want to do is with this layer I want to put in a blur. Now we don't need a really really big blur we need somewhere around three pixels. You uh, just want to soften the skin out a little bit um, you'll still see freckles and things we're going to do an opacity uh, blending to uh, bring this through uh, when we're done. Now there's a couple ways of selecting the uh, skin here. Uh, most people will pick the quick selection tool and start trying to uh, select the skin. It's not going to work because it's going to grab the hair and you're not going to be able to get all the fine uh, hair in between the fine hairs in there. So let's deselect those and let's select color range. Now what I'm going to do with the color range is I'm going to select the skin if I hold down the shift key I get a little plus sign there so I can start selecting more for skin now it's going to select some of her hair uh, which isn't a bad thing but uh, you may want to uh, uh, cut that out afterwards uh, so we've got her skin selected um, probably want to select her lips too. Hit OK. It's drawing the selection. 
uh, we can grab the lasso tool here uh, and holding down the option we can deselect this hair area and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a uh, option layer mask actually I think I got it backwards I wanted just to do the regular layer mask so I'll just invert this and uh, let's zoom in you can see uh, how the skin is uh, softened and let's pull down the opacity so that we can bring through some of her uh, regular complexion and this looks good but uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw this away because I want to show you another way of doing it uh, and let's make a new layer and I am going to go to the image nomadic portraiture filter now this is a, a filter that you have to buy I'm in no way um, affiliated with image nomadic um, and they're not paying me to uh, say anything good about their product I just happen to think that they have a really nice product and it does uh, uh, shorten my time uh, working on these uh, images very quite a bit um, actually I'm not going to do any adjustments here I'm just going to pick their preset for smooth smoothing of normal and hit OK and the filter will run and it's actually going to automatically figure out where the hair is go around the eyes um, it does all that by itself and you get this very very extremely smooth skin now um, I did make uh, I did put this on another layer uh, because the skin looks very plasticky um, and uh, it's uh, very unnatural so let's zoom in and let's bring the opacity down to probably somewhere under 50 um, yeah right about there um, this evens out our complexion quite a bit reduces uh, uh, quite a bit of the noise in the image and it softens things up uh, so there's the here's the before which you're not going to see very well it does a good job around the eyes there's the after does a really nice job of smoothing things out now that we're done with that let's uh, merge down and the last thing I want to do I want to go ahead and create another layer uh, the uh, command or control J and what I want to do is I want to highlight her hair a little bit it's very very dark so in order to highlight we need to do a dodge either a color dodge which is grabbing a, a lot of her skin or we do a linear dodge which does a really nice job on the the hair once again hold down the option or alt click on add layer mask and now I'm going to grab my uh, brush and I want a nice big soft brush and I'm just going to quickly throw in some highlights don't have to be too exacting here because I what I'm going to do is I'm going to blur this uh, layer in the back so click on the uh, the layer mask and we go blur Gaussian blur and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select an area right here and let's crank this up to about 50 pixels that's going to smooth it out quite a bit so let's zoom this down to a size that you can see and this is the before and the after and those are the adjustments that I do uh, to uh, enhance a photo. Once again, my name is Phil Morris, the Time and Time Photographer. Thank you for watching.